Hello there. How are you today? Wait, that's not how I speak. Hello, how are you today? <laughs> I'm Pete Ina, I'm an American. Well, 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 let's get into it. They lied and now people are starting to report on the lies yes so what has come out most recently in the news is that Harry and Meghan they lied about having a zoom call with the Queen about Lily Betts name they said they spoke to the Queen about it they couldn't wait to share the news with the Queen they said they did this they never did at the time the palace couldn't deny it but they have since come out to say, we didn't say that. We did not say that we would approve of the child being named after the queen. They never had a Zoom call. There was no communication and it is now being printed as an official news story. So they've essentially have just ruined all of their chances for ever having any kind of redemption. Like what, what can you do at this moment? Be like, I'm sorry, I lied, I'm sorry. You know, oh, you, that was another lie. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I lied. <laughs> it's like they got all these lies in these news reports. And at some point in the day, it's going to become like, well, uh, when are you not lying? Everything that come out your mouth is a lie. So this is how it's going to, to really start to make sense to more and more people when when these things are reported on a consistent basis they can't be just a new story here and there no like every time bring it out you know let us know report on it oh did you hear the duchess of sussex she lied about having a call with the queen you know and then you know they talking about it because they saw it on the news right so it becomes a conversation piece and slowly another one comes out well they lied again did you hear that the the duke and the duchess they lied about yeah they lied yeah I, well they said they lied but shoot now we are seeing that they lied in the news reports that that stuff must be true you know <laughs> and then slowly people are gonna be like waking up to like who this couple really is and then what will happen yes what will happen then the people that said all of this all along will be vindicated especially the family of Megan. Those things like train wreck, train. <laughs> There's a train going by. It's, wreck. it's getting ready to wreck again. It got up and started moving again after Oprah. But now it's back on the tracks and it's just going on. It's just, it's, a, it's over in California now, that train, right? Like it's just like keep, it's going and it's going and it's going crash. So Prince Harry and Megan are waging war on the BBC and the extension, um, the Queen and, on, and and by extension, the Queen and the Palace after the UK's premier news source reported that Britain's longest serving monarch did not approve of the couple naming their daughter Lilibet. Didn't happen, you guys. And we knew this, but it's come out as official news and that's just a good thing. So we got to like get the word out, which was a private childhood nickname for Her Majesty. The rose started after the BBC aired a palace source who claims that the Queen did not approve Harry and Meghan using her exemplary private childhood nickname and one used only by her parents, her sister and her late husband Prince Philip for their newborn their newborn daughter now as the BBC is very close to the palace the statement is essentially considered by many as an official admission by the Queen that her grandson stepped out of line and ignored her and had dismissed her wishes about the little girl's name this is how you have to look at it. They're taking their inside information, things that they knew about the, the monarch, and they are toying with it. It's like, we just want to name her Lilibet. Yes, we're going to name her Lilibet because, uh, yes, these are things that we know about that not a lot of people know about. We just go 
we're just gonna exploit it. <laughs> Lily Bet. <laughs> She's a racist, but still name a Lily Bet. <laughs> because we're, we're, what happened, essentially? They called the queen a racist, essentially. I mean, if you really look at what they said, said, this is what they did. But they just gonna name a child Lily Bet because it's all a game. It's a game. It's not really coming from a sincere place. So Megan and Harry, they fired back. One of their spokespersons said that um, the Duke had spoke with a family member in advance about the announcement. And in fact, his grandmother was the first family member he called. So during the conversation that he had shared hope with naming their daughter Lily Bet in honor of her majesty. Now had she not been supportive, they would have not used the name. Essentially, Harry is now calling the queen a liar. They also engaged their law firm Shillings to try and force the BBC, BBC to drop the story despite the fact that the news network had high level sources. So Richard Palmer, a royal reporter for the Daily Express wrote in a Twitter thread, I had asked Harry and Meghan's lawyers earlier today if they were calling the queen a liar. And they shied away from that, but couldn't explain the different version of events. It is possible, however, that Harry told the queen and thought she had consented, but she hadn't. It is all very sad, but I'm not getting the impression that there is much happiness at Windsor Castle about the choice of Lilybet as the baby's name. It may have been an olive branch, but their sensitivity because of any perceived attempt to use the queen as part of the Sussex brand. Yeah, and that's, I think, the biggest part of it that is so appalling about it is because they are trying to brand their, their children as a part of their money making and using the queen's name is definitely being used to help their brand to make money. This whole thing about the queen's childhood nickname is insider information. This is, these are things that really only the people in their intimate circles are used to. And it's not really common knowledge. It's not, I don't know, maybe it is over in Great Britain, but it certainly isn't over here in America. I can tell you that. I'm like, Lily Bet, who's Lily Bet? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So like sh this woman, this American, she had insider information and she went and took that insider information and used it to try to make her brand, to attach herself, her child to the queen and something that was so intimate, something that belonged in a very special way only to the queen. She is taking this very intimate piece of information and and she's like, okay, I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna steal it. I'm gonna use that for my branding of my child so that my child is forever connected to the queen in a very intimate kind of a way. You see how conniving that is and how wrong? So according to the reports, websites have already been purchased in the little girl's name. So too many, it's, it's an attempt to monetize on the queen's deeply personal and unique nickname and legacy, something the couple are not supposed to do. This is the character that we're dealing with. And this is what a lot of people in the very beginning saw. We all saw this in the very beginning. And a lot of people didn't want to see it, but it's starting to rear its ugly head now because it's coming out as we thought it would come out. This was not, taking someone and beating up on them and like, I don't like you, like, who are you? <laughs> no, it's like, oh, I see you, what did you do? And then there's the action to follow behind it because of how they're behaving. So that announcement of a child's name is derailing so spectacularly in a rather insane, but it fits with a couple who seem to thrive off of chaos, misery, hate, um, division um, and their own self-importance. It's very befitting of them to do something like this. It's like, I call you something and then you act like something I called you and then I'm like, I'm right what I called you because you act just like what I called you. <laughs> it's like you, you proving everybody right by how you behaving. So it is clear regardless of, you know, what they think, the queen is not a, a fan of the name. She's just not.
This is why there is likely no way back for Harry if he and Meghan are still married. There's absolutely, absolutely no more trust. So the growing fallout of this fiasco is also why the couple should be stripped of their titles and the possibility of either of their children becoming prince or princess when Charles is king. Meghan only cares about herself and her children, her husband or her family. Well, family within meaning them four. Not, not like the outside family, like not like the extended family, like the blood family. No, she don't care about them. She don't. Uh, so someone this toxic should have absolutely, absolutely, without a doubt, no influence whatsoever to the crown if it wants to survive. And I think this story speaks so much truth and hopefully people will start to wake up and recognize the severity of the situation we have over in uh, California here in America.